My name is Jim Wilson, and I own Jim Wilson Mastering, formerly Yes Mastering, out of Austin, Texas, and I've been here in Boulder, Colorado for four years. Last four years, I was working out of Airshow Mastering in Boulder, which is one of the better known uh, independent mastering facilities in the United States. And uh, now back on my own again, I have been using a Grace M906 monitor controller for the past three years. Uh, it's been one of my uh, most useful pieces of equipment uh, I've had in my studio. Um, probably the most robust <laughs> and uh, in terms of reliability, probably the best thing I've got uh, in my arsenal. Um, I find that I'm repairing a lot of equipment all the time because my gear's left on, it's running full time. I master somewhere around uh, 270 projects annually. So there's, uh, there's a lot of sound going through these boxes. I looked around at a few different options and I had a mastering console that was uh, custom made in my, in my room prior to the 906, um, which was made by a really well-respected manufacturer in, in the UK. Um, but I found that the sound of it was, was dulling when I was hearing. And um, uh, a lot of it had to do with, you know, the composition of the transistors in it and, and a bunch of the other elect electrical topology in there, which I didn't really agree with the design. Um, although the other functions of it were, were quite handy. Um, but for me, being able to hear what I'm doing is, is the most important part. I probably put more investment in my sound system than any other you know, part of my room. I was attracted to this unit uh, simply because it had more inputs and more outs and it just seemed like it was much more capable for, for what I needed. I have several you know, A to D and D to A converters and analog devices in the room and uh, I love to be able to keep everything patched in and just quickly uh, move around to, to all of them. I found that the, the, the 906 has uh, built into it uh, six channels of very high quality DDA conversion, um, which uh, pretty much knocked my socks off and was the, was the thing that, that uh, really, really caught me in terms of the, this device being different from other things that are in the market. The amount of functions are, are you know, pretty, pretty vast in terms of uh, 5.1 inputs in analog and digital unbalanced in, balanced uh, in, uh, AS digital in, there's optical in, uh, uh, a plethora of inputs and outputs. You know, uh, listening to just purely the, uh, an analog signal passing through um, and, uh, and the output in a, a very high resolution system uh, with the gains cranked and listening to, okay, what kind of noise does this make um, just on its own? And I think there's a little bit of noise way down there, minus 105, something like that, which is low enough, you know, <laughs> to be to be acceptable. Uh, honestly, it, it, it had a very transparent quality to it. It wasn't imparting any kind of color or character, which for me is absolutely essential. Uh, all my wiring in this room is handmade, so that it doesn't have a color. Um, I've listened to lots and lots of wire. I'm a bit over the top in terms of that. Um, uh, kind of thing. I, I really am simply looking for the period signal path in terms of my transfers. The quality of the DDA conversion also is another thing that was really I found quite stunning. I um, before the 906, I was using uh, converters uh, made by either you know Lavery. Um, had a, a benchmark box at one time. Was using a, a Pacific Microsonics box. Um, and uh, found that the, the uh, 906 seemed to translate the music that I knew really well and my work outside of the studio uh, all had the, it, it imparted the same quality that I knew was there in the original source um, without hearing, uh, again, any off color. Um, and which I found impressive in the fact that the, you know, the box is, uh, locks very quickly to multiple sample rates. Um, you know, there's there's no none of that strange you know high frequency uh, you know uh, coloration that tends to happen with a lot of DA converters out there in the market, especially the ones that do upsampling and that kind of thing, uh, which I really wasn't uh, uh, in the market for. Wanted something again that that played back 441 or 441 and sounded right. This for me makes perfect sense. I don't really like to have a lot of clutter in front of me. I don't, I don't want all the gear in front of me. I don't want to be staring at a computer screen. I really don't want much in between me and the speakers. And uh, for me, this, this design was, was actually perfect because uh, all I need is a volume control. I need to be able to quickly mute uh, a channel, uh, do a mono sum, uh, switch from uh, you know, various inputs, um, you know, 
turn on my headphones, turn my headphones off. Uh, it's very simple with these, these clicking uh, controls are very, very cool. And, um, uh, and, and otherwise just, just work <laughs> and sound good, you know, on top of all that. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I'm uh, Jim and, and this is my beloved 906 controller. Ha, ha, ha.